Okay, I promised we would talk about presentations and that's what we're going to do. So to create a presentation, as I'm sure you know, you click create and then presentation. And that takes you to this screen where you can pick the kind of theme that will be applied to your presentation. Now there's no real secret to this, it's kind of whatever you'd like. Um, I tend to lean towards the simpler ones, I think they're better, I think it detracts from the presentation less. I think kind of the more ostentatious presentation themes like these, I think they're, I think they're a little bit distracting. Um, but that's my opinion, not everybody thinks that, and this is, a lot of this is sort of opinion. So actually, let's just pick one that I don't normally go with, let's take Swiss. For whatever reason, that one's kind of drawing my attention. So you click OK and you're presented with this screen. Now, it kind of gives you instructions. You can click to add your title and then a subtitle. Now, and that's sort of kind of it. And then you can go through and add new slides with information. Now, unfortunately, it's a little bit outside of the scope of this class for me to go into what makes a good presentation. Transitions, I'm sure you've seen, they are when you go from one slide to the next and they have some kind of animation or something. The easiest way to add a transition is when you're on a slide, you kind of click in this. If you're in a text editing area, you won't have the option, but if you click in sort of this gray area, you can click transition and then you can add whatever transition you'd like. So let's do fade. You can click play to get kind of a preview to see what that would look like and you can change that as much as you'd like. You can have slide from the left. I'm kind of fond of the cube presentation. I think that looks neat. And then you can kind of just you stop it go to the next slide and you can change your transition there. So this way we can see it'll go from one side to the next and that's really that's about it. I've uh, linked a couple of resources for kind of more information on slides. Um, my philosophy on presentations as less is more. I think it's better to have one or two topics on a slide and kind of talk about those and then move on to the next. The slides should support what you're saying. It shouldn't be everything you're saying. Uh, that's my kind of opinion. And of course you can insert tables, um, you can insert images, you can do the web clipboard thing. So if you've copied tables from previous. So if you click here and click edit, you can go to web clipboard and this should all look, look familiar to everybody. You can insert graphs from spreadsheets. One thing that's kind of handy is as you're moving images and things around, it gives you these guides so you kind of know if it's centered on the page or not. Everything you've learned in documents applies to presentations, but the only thing that's different is how the slides are set up. So you can pick different themes kind of. So here you have two columns. This one you have one big main body. This one is a title and subtitle. Really how you use them is up to you. That's sort of a personal preference. There are some theories and ideas on what's more effective, but a lot of that is really up to the person giving the presentation. And of course you can change the background color. I famously gave a presentation on a St. Patrick's Day and everything was green. It was I thought it was awesome. Nobody else did. Um, the presentation was good. The slides maybe not. But really that's that's about it for presentations. Okay, for the tech overview this week, I want to talk about Khan Academy. Now, I hope most of you are familiar with it. It's pretty neat. It has a lot of information. There are some really good videos and really good resources. Oh, if once you log in, you can sign in with your Google credentials or Facebook credentials, or you can just create an account there. And when you click on learn, you have all of these different options. They have goals, knowledge map, you can learn stuff about math, different science topics, uh, economics, humanities, all kinds of things. What I want to point out is computer programming. They have some pretty amazing resources for learning how to program. It takes you through what is programming, how to make 
programs, logic loops, uh, control structures, everything that you need to know. The one thing that's really handy is the guy that's their dean of computer science, his name is John Resig, he created the JavaScript language, and also if you've heard of the jQuery library for JavaScript, he's responsible for that as well. He's definitely a power player in computer science and the com field of computers in general. And their curriculum is really, really handy. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you want to learn about computer programming. We're probably going to come back to this later on if we get there in time uh, to kind of go over some of the topics in computer programming. So I really highly recommend checking out the Khan Academy if you need help with anything from math to physics to computer programming. It's, it's very much worthwhile. Homework. So homework this week is going to be similar to past weeks, mostly just multi multiple choice and true false stuff. That may change uh, a little bit because I haven't quite finished it yet, but um, I will update the document that I send out as time goes on. Next week, we're going to cover a little bit more on if and match, uh, maybe a few other formulas. I'm thinking about looking at VLOOKUP. I don't know that it's that important to cover it. It's a powerful, powerful function, but not many people use it. Uh, if and match will do the same thing and are a little bit easier. They're not as efficient. But anyway, we'll get into that next week. Um, I also want to start looking into basic computer hardware. So uh, start looking at, you know, what does it mean that something has, you know, 10 teraflops or whatever, what is that? Um, I want to look at binary and memory management, memory addressing and things like that nature. It's going to get a little bit more technical, but not too, too much. And the week after that, I want to cover a little bit more computer hardware, pick up anything we've missed with the document suite and review for the midterm. Do do. Right. Um, I hope everything goes well for you guys and I will, well, you will see me next week.